Hello! Probably a very quick video for this module because for as much as it does, there's not that much to talk about. So this is Token Action HUD, or HUD. Um, this is a module that I was made aware of about an hour ago by one of my players who sent me a video. Um, it gives you some shortcuts for actions and abilities on your players. I think I'll probably use this mostly for NPCs. I think if you are DMing for someone who is maybe a new player or is new to Foundry, they can find it a bit overwhelming having to open the character sheet, what tabs it on. All this does, so I've, just for your, for your information, I haven't configured this module at all. I've just installed it and enabled it. So everything you're about to see is default functionality. I will take you through the menu in a minute, but even then, there's not much to it. When this is installed, when I click on any actor, oh, his vision is still small from the video I just did a minute ago. When I click on any actor, um, we, we get this menu up here. The name shows up, and I can then hover over and you'll see all of their inventory spells, features, so it's just in the categories of weapons, equipment, consumable, inconsumables, don't like that name, uh, their tools, all of the spells that they currently have prepared or available. Uh, you'll see it also shows how many slots they've got, any feats they've got, including ones that you, know, you see the star of a favorited, and it, you'll notice next to everything it shows remaining, um, charges or counts based on whenever it recharges um, you can do skill checks from here and you'll see that it also shows proficiency and expertise and it would also show half proficiency if you have anyone who's a bard is jack of all trades bard i think it is same for saves indicates which ones are saves uh, checks and then utility you can do things like rests inspiration toggle state. I think players themselves can also click to do initiative from this. Um, so if I go into Esmeralda, who's an NPC, I've got similar in there. I'm going to mess around with hers because it won't affect anything. All the functionality is exactly the same. So whatever you've got set up everywhere else, this is just shortcuts. So if I wanted Esmeralda to cast Lightning Bolt, I could just click on her, go to Spells, Find Lightning Bolt. I can see she has three slots available. I'm not going to make it use a slot because it's a Foundry video. And then with my animated spell template that you've seen I've got set up from the previous video, I can choose where she's going to put it, who she's going to zap. Bang. The spell is cast. Oh, I've targeted on. I started it on her. Idiot. I should have done it one in front of her. She, she shot her. She played herself. Um... That's all there is of functionality of this. I will show you the settings. You can do a little bit more. You can go in and in here with a book at the end, start to set up and program um, additional ones. So a very common one is to put macro in there. Make a macro folder um, category and then drag your macros up from the bar at the bottom and place them in that folder. If I go to the settings of the module, You'll see in here, it's got a HUD role handler. What that's saying is, as you'll know, there are a number of different modules that can overwrite how um, your roles work. Like I use MIDI quality of life. There's better roles, there's mess, things like that. Um, 5E, 5E role, I can't remember. Um, you can tell this module which one to put it through. Really? Unless with some vague side, like obscure side setting that you're using, you should only really have one of those modules enabled anyway, because it's very easy for them to conflict. Um, do you want the HUD to be on for the current user? That's basically if you want it on for your players, but you, the DM, don't want it, you could untoggle it for yourself and your players still have it. Do you want the HUD to be there all the time for a player? That can mean if they have an assigned player, even if there's no token there, they can do it. So that means if you were just looking at a scene which was a map 
or a Theatre of the Mind, and they didn't have a token on it, they can still click to do their roles without having to open up a character sheet. That little bartenderless menu would stay there all the time for him, even if he hasn't got a token. Um, do you want the icons to come through next to it? Some people do, some people don't. Do you want custom categories to appear? Enable hovering. So that just means if the mouse was over his token, it would all jump up and appear. And I think it tries to appear it near where my mouse is. I don't like that. Again, these are the default settings. I haven't toggled any of these off or on. Um, ignore passive feet. I might be tempted to put that on. I don't need my player to. See, I don't need my player to see their dark vision pop up all the time. Um, so I would probably choose to ignore passives. Um, and then, you know, do you want to show spells that can't be prepared? Do you want all the information on if a spell is concentration, what its verbal, semantic, material costs are? I would definitely want that on, so a player isn't just firing off spells that they shouldn't be able to do. Do you want to abbreviate skill and ability names? I don't like doing that, because I think the whole point of this is to make it quicker. It's not quicker if you're then having to go, what does, you know, THL mean? And go and look it up. Oh, it's Tasha's hideous laughter. I should have realized. You're not saving time. Um, do you want to separate ability checks and saves into different categories? If I'm doing this, it's for a new player. I think I'm enable. I would enable this, so I want them to be separate, so they are learning the difference between you know two different menus. Here are what checks are. Here are what saves are. Um, do you want to show empty items? So. Like if you had arrows down to zero charges, would you want it to show up? If you had a two two charges a day magical item, once it's tapped, do you still want it showing up to remind them they've got it? Or do you want it to disappear until it can be used again? I would probably not want empty items to show up on mine. Um, do you want the item sheet to show up on a right click? So if we were to go, what is the cloak of Arachna? Arik oh. Arachidna, why couldn't I say that? Um, right click, it goes and opens up the item description. And then debug mode even says in there himself, he doesn't use it much. Um, I think that's a really straightforward but very, very useful mod. I think a lot of people might look at it and go, oh no, it's turning it into a video game. I want to go and open up my character sheet. But I see a lot of, um, a lot of scenarios where I'd find that very, very useful. So yeah, let me know if you'd use this. I am keen to know what you as viewers would would think of it. But yeah, as ever, thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. And I can try and do a video on it. But otherwise, take care.